This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning, Arizona. I'm Javier Soto. Here are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. A man and child are in the hospital this morning after being treated for burns from a barbecue accident. A fire did damage the Glendale home near 57th Avenue in Cactus. Firefighters say both the man and child suffered burns, but we don't know how bad they were and what caused that accident. Police found a man who had been shot to death about 840 last night near 23rd Avenue in Dunlap. Investigators are still working that case right now. We don't have much information about a suspect or anything else. As soon as we get any information, we will, of course, pass that along. January is now the second deadliest month for COVID related deaths here in the state of Arizona. When it comes to vaccinations, more than a half a million Arizonans have already received at least one dose. The state health department says nearly 80,000 people have received both doses. Meanwhile, Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema is asking the federal government to get us more vaccines. She's asking FEMA and the Department of Health and Human Services for an emergency 300,000 extra doses immediately and just as many to be added in our weekly supply. She released a statement reading, quote, Arizona suffers from one of the worst coronavirus outbreaks in the entire country. Our hospitals and vaccination sites are overwhelmed and we need more vaccine to save lives and help our seniors, those with pre-existing condition, conditions and frontline workers, as well as the tribal communities. The Maricopa County Board of Supervisors just voted unanimously to audit its election equipment and software. They say some voters and lawmakers are asking for an extra layer of assurance and hope this full forensic audit will stop the baseless claims of fraud over the presidential election once and for all. The county will hire two firms to audit that equipment and prove they weren't hacked. Representatives from all three political parties, the Secretary of State, AG's office and media are all able to observe. How about a warmer day for today? We're going to be in the low 70s with clouds. Rain returns for to the valley for Friday and Saturday. Looks like we should be dry by Saturday afternoon and into your Sunday. It's been a while since we've been dry. All right, thank you, Ian. For updates and more stories, all you have to do is download the Arizona's Family News app and make sure you subscribe on our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Javier Soto. Good morning, Arizona.